Romberg, and I'm at Friendly Neighborhood Comics. I'm here with sure. writer, Wait, would you like? screen uh, writer, Ooh. and filmmaker, sure. Bill Harris. Sure. Okay. Joe, cool. you've been able to work in so many different yeah, mediums you know, yeah. of your art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Danny Brock what can you take back or from the, all your oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, you know, the looking back at the new with the tongue or the new um, venom with Well, it, 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 uh, the it old takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of effort. Yeah, you want to see what comes out. But that's what I was going to throw out. That's the only venom. For every page, every every minute, everything in my screen, there are uh, countless things that don't work out. Yeah. Um, so it's just I feel very fortunate that I've been able to do as many things that I've been able to do. And um, uh, yeah, I feel both uh, like it's the product of a lot of effort as well as a lot of uh, a lot of good fortune. So you know, take nothing for granted and we'll just you know forward. You had the uh, you did the Tooth Fairy that actually went to the mm -hmm. big screen, right? The darkness falls, like mm -hmm. you know, taking it from your brain yeah. to the paper to the big screen. How rewarding is that? Especially yeah. like the commitment that you put into something no. like that. It's a, you know, it's it's mixed. It's both uh, creatively, it can be frustrating sometimes because a movie like you know like Darkness Falls comes out that you know ultimately didn't really represent my initial vision. I mean, it, it, however, you know, when you're fortunate enough to have a movie come out and the movie does well with the theaters, it's it's gratifying because it's a success financially and like, uh, you know, the people who invested money in it made money and, and, and you know, you get to point to people, you get to point okay. friends and family to the posters and yeah. your name on it and such. So it's kind of a, it's both gratifying and extremely a, on the one hand. Piece of, you too. of course it is, yeah, it's, it's history. You know, it's kind of, uh, I'm, so I'm proud of the achievement. I don't know if the if the work itself represents it as much, but, um, you know, as with everything, I, you know, I had a guy who came into the signing before with a big stack of books that go back to the very first thing I ever wrote, and it's kind of just flipping through it. It's, it's, uh, it's humbling, you know, to be able to, to, to look at a body of work and you know I feel like I you know just started doing this but I've really been doing this for and a while. And you've done so much in a yeah. short period of time. It's like, oh. has, it, has it been like a whirlwind almost? It's like so well, much been, is happening. You know I, I feel like there's been a lot of mini whirlwinds. It's happened like I feel like I have been doing this for a while actually but it's 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 peaks and valleys and it's um, you know I look back and you know remember that I was doing this when I was in my early 20s and uh, it's kind of mind blowing. Yeah. yeah. To, to be where you were from uh, back then to what kind of see your body of work since then. Yeah. yeah. And it's you're still young, so, you know, like, where else is there left thank to you, go? Spread. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a matter of opinion, but yeah. I thank you for saying that. <laughs> so, like I said, you've been able to work, um, you share all these different forms. I mean, do you have, like, is there any particular one you, you actually like seeing them the most? And what can you take away from the one going into the other? Like, like oh, well, I, I mean, of anything, of everything I've ever done, Great Pacific is what I'm most proud of. Of. I mean, this represents who I am. It's, 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 uh, it's what I mean. now. It's, 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 I think I'm better as a creator as a result. Um, and as far as what I what I go forward with, um, the confidence that I can actually launch a new series like this is something I take with me into the future. That the uh, uh, the commitment to actually building a world that I, you know, the way I want it to be, and, and having the confidence that it is, uh, there's an audience for it, that I take that with. Me, so it's uh, you know, for me as a positive, this has been the, the overwhelming, the, 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 my favorite. Thing so this is basically, you know, looking back at what you've done so far, that you could basically uh, consider this your baby now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This represents who I am at this moment in a way that a lot of what I've done in the past might not have. I, I don't know. I don't mean to be too hard on it. We yeah. do the best we can when we're, you know, at a particular yeah. age. But but just in terms of uh, yeah, being, was telling them what it is I intended it to be. I was on the fence about this. This really is uh, this this. Is, uh, I consider this a success that I'm more fond of than anything else I've ever done. And for the, uh, for the uh, people watching at home, yeah. you know, they haven't read it yet, you know, can you give them maybe a brief synopsis of what it's about? Uh, yeah, uh, Great Pacific is about this uh, young man who um, decides to essentially settle the Great Pacific garbage patch, which is this floating mass of, 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 of trash and refuse in the Pacific Ocean. Um, but not necessarily to clean it up, rather. He, uh, he plants a flag and declares it his own sovereign country. Yeah. And then it's about him having to make it work, him having to survive out in there, out, out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The elements against him, hostile indigenous people after him, mutated uh, sea monsters that have been affected by all the pollution. And even we're going to see in an upcoming issue the United States Navy comes after him to, to, to drag him back home because he, he, he did some bad things on his way out the door when he left this country to go do what he eventually
we got some specific so. so this is an ongoing series? It is an ongoing series. Um, do you see any, uh, like, do you have, like, an end for it, like, in your head? Or do you I do you keep going, 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 and then eventually maybe once you get tired of doing it, you just... Well, I, both, both of both points you just said are true. I have an ending in mind, and I would like to keep going for a number of years. So as long as the market will have us, you know, I've got a, a wealth of stories that I'd like to do. Well. Okay, well, thanks for taking the time. Uh, is there anything you would like to uh, talk about that you got coming up or... Uh, Anything like to plug? Social, so many social media out there. Yeah, yeah I, I wish I could tell you. Keep an eye on uh, on announcements at, uh, at Emerald City Comic Con in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to announce a new series that I'm writing there. Cool. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. I'm Chad. See you later.